Let's say we've been hanging out in scenario E for a bunch of days. On average, we've been catching one rabbit, but gathering 280 berries. We were, I guess, in a, in a berry mood. So this is scenario E right over here. But now all of a sudden, we're in the mood for more protein. So let me write down. We are in scenario, scenario E. And we're in the mood for more protein. And so we, we want to think about what are the trade-offs if we try to catch more rabbits. So what I want to do, I want to say, if I want to catch one more rabbit, one more, one more rabbit, what am I going to have to give up? So if I catch one more rabbit, so I go from one rabbit on average to two rabbits a day. So I'm really going from scenario E to scenario D. What am I going to give up? So this is plus one over here. Well, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up 40 berries. And you can see it visually right here. If I try to get one more rabbit, I can't go into this impossible, this unattainable part right over here. I have to stay on the production possibilities frontier, sometimes, sometimes abbreviated as, PP, as PPF, or I guess the acronym for it, I should say, is PPF. But if I want one more rabbit, the, the production possibilities frontier drops off, and I will have to give up 40 fruit. So one more rabbit means that I have a cost, so I have to give up. I have to give up, on average, 40, 40 berries. And the technical term for what I've just described is the, the opportunity cost of going after one more rabbit is giving up 40 berries. So let me write this down. The opportunity cost, opportunity cost of one more rabbit, one more rabbit. And this is particular to scenario E. As we'll see, it's going to change depending on what scenario we are in, at least for this example. So the opportunity cost of one more rabbit is, is 40 berries, is 40 berries, assuming we are in scenario E. One more rabbit, I have to give up 40 berries. And another term, when we talk about the opportunity cost of going after, after uh, producing, I, I, I guess we could say, the opportunity cost of producing one more rabbit here, when we talk about the opportunity cost of producing one more unit, that's sometimes called the marginal cost. So this right over here, you can also view as the marginal cost. Marginal cost. In the context of this video, our costs are in terms of the thing that I'm giving up, the opportunity that I'm giving up. In, in other scenarios, you'll see sometimes the marginal cost be given in, in actual monetary units, like dollars or whatever else. What was the cost of producing that extra unit, that extra widget right over there? But let's make sure we understand opportunity cost. So that's when we were sitting in scenario E, the opportunity cost of one more rabbit. But what's the opportunity cost sitting in, let's say we're, we, we, we're tired of eating meat. We're sitting in scenario E, and we want to become vegetarians all together. So we want to go to scenario, so we want to, get, we want to go to scenario F, essentially not eat any rabbits and eat as much fruit as possible. So another thing that you could ask in scenario E is the opportunity cost, opportunity cost opportunity cost of, and just to make the numbers easier, I'm going to say opportunity cost of 20 more berries. 20 more berries. 20 more berries is, well, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up a rabbit. So over here, what we're doing is we are, we're saying, OK, I want to increase my berries by 20. But to do that, I have to decrease my rabbits by 1. So the opportunity cost. Assuming we are in scenario E, the opportunity cost of 20 more berries is one, is one rabbit. Now, this right over here is not a marginal cost, because I'm talking about the cost of 20 more units, not just one. If I want to write this as a marginal cost of one more berry, then I could just say, well, if 20 berries is one rabbit, you could say you could essentially divide both sides by 20. So one more berry, one more. One more berry, and I'll assume, for those of you who want to get technical, that it's somewhat linear right over here. One more berry, if we divide both sides by 20, is one more berry is 1 20th, 1 20th of a rabbit. So if I go for one extra berry, uh, sitting in scenario E, on average, on average, I'm going to get 1 20th less of a berry. And when I, and when I phrase it this way, it is being phrased, it is being phrased as a as a marginal as a 
marginal cost. Now, for those of you who want to get a little technical, this is a curve right over here. So it might not be exactly this. We can't just, well, I don't want to get too technical. For, for the sake of this one right over here, this is a, a safe way to think about it. The opportunity cost of 20 more berries is one rabbit. But if you assume that this is somewhat linear right over here, it's not so curved. It's somewhat of a line between those two points. Then the opportunity cost of one berry is 1 20th of a rabbit, or the marginal cost of an extra berry is 1 20th of a rabbit. And we could do it at different points in this curve, and I actually encourage you to do. Based on the data that we have in this table that we constructed in the last video, and maybe this curve, think about what the opportunity cost is uh, in the different scenarios. If you're in scenario B, and if you want an extra rabbit, how much is that going to cost you in terms of in terms of in terms of berries or if you want more berries if you want more berries what's that going to cost you in terms of rabbits